a show everyone dreams of going to and I, I wasn't going to miss that opportunity for sure. This is the only carbs I'm getting in the day. It's 60 grams of oats. And I do one and a little bit scoop of super premium whey chocolate today. Just heat that up. Gotta go upstairs to get to the microwave. They'll put microwaves in our hotel, so we gotta trek around the hotel, go find one. How beautiful is that? It's a beautiful city. Only carbs I get. I feel like I kind of was a little slow into my prep last shows and was not as lean as I could have been, whereas the show I'm like definitely much better conditioned. Especially compared to my last prep for Toronto Pro in Pittsburgh. I like feel like at three weeks out of this show I was like one week out of my last show. Like weight and conditioning and like how dead I was and everything. Yeah. I was kind of like three weeks ahead and I just like had to like, push through it so much more. Shoulder day. Left single body part workout, I guess. Wednesday, two days before the show, just finished shoulders. Nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy, just a regular old workout. I mean, I would train as if this was hard. not three days up from the Olympia. I would train the exact fucking thing. So if I can push I mean, if you can do the 150s, do them. He's the guy who got me into bodybuilding, so he's been with me since my first ever show. And my first ever show, we got things right. I came in on point for that, and we haven't really switched too many things up since then. We stick very basic dieting principles, and when we have a game plan, we keep it simple and stick to it. Coach said triangle heavy, so we got a triangle heavy. Yeah, you kind of made a big jump. Yeah. You went from <laughs> well, I just I normally start at 90s, 80s or 90s, but today because I'm like cold, traveling a lot, tired, whatever, I started with 60 and then jumped up to 90s. See how heavy we can go. It's the last workout I have to try, so I might as well man up, stop being a pussy, and do so. That didn't feel like. I'd have my regular routine, like a five day split, and then twice a week I'd go to the gym twice a day, and I'd just train arms. Just focus on what I need to build. And it seems to have really helped. Normally they shrink a lot coming into prep, and if anything, I hope they've grown, so see how it shows off on stage.
did a 14 week prep for Toronto and then two weeks later was Pittsburgh so that was like 16 weeks and then I had about four weeks off and after the four weeks off it was 10 weeks out from the Olympia and I started that at 10 weeks so it's really been about like a little over 20 weeks with a four week break in between but I couldn't let myself go for the four weeks it was like increased calories but I wasn't eating like crap every day. I've always been a huge advocate of training heavy and like you kind of, I got excited there just thinking about it actually. It's been a while since I've been able to like eat heavy, train heavy and like be the kind of like athlete that I like to be. Like I'm always like deadlifting 600 pounds, trying to squat 600, pushing weight as much as I can in the gym and I really haven't been able to do that prepping lately. So stuff like that really excites me. I genuinely enjoy the training aspect of bodybuilding. So I'm really excited to get into this off season and get my strength back up. Right now we're just checking his weight. He's just one meal deep now, so we're just seeing how much it's varied since this morning, because he is still right at the cusp, so. Which were right exactly at Exactly 225. We'll cut that water down a little bit more. Like 350, 300. And then uh, just like be no chill on the sodium for now. The menu. Brown rice. It was 211.4 in clothes yesterday. Ground turkey. Yeah. So, I mean, Always got the caramel corn rice. <laughs> rice cake. Mini ones are better. A little better with weight. We were 223 this first thing in the morning, so we had like a two pound kind of wiggle room to eat into the day today, so. Yeah. Weight was a little lower, with better conditioning. I knew I was gonna make weight, but it was what I was gonna do in like the couple days leading up to the show. So if I was, if I wasn't, couldn't eat and I had to cut water a bit before weigh-ins, then that makes it a lot more difficult to, to stay dry for longer, like keep the water in your body and to come in full. So like I would have looked flat if I couldn't eat. So the trick was being able to introduce a little bit of carbs as well as keeping some water in me before the weigh-ins. Done with the first two coats of the tan for today. And then we're in tomorrow, I think at 8 a.m., which isn't too early. Get the last final coat and then stage time a few hours after that. We'll do uh, quarters first, so front relaxed, and then we'll, we'll run through, okay? We're gonna do right. Drop that right arm a little. Not the shoulder, the arm. Like just your, yeah, your lower arm, but raise that shoulder back up. Good. Corner to your right. Glutes. Good. Lean forward a little bit. Your upper, yeah, good. Quarter turn to your right. Breathe it out. Rotate a little more. But bring that right arm closer to your body. No, that's your left arm, right arm.
looks good. We can feed him some more, for sure. Do you like that yeah. classic pose? Uh, the only thing I didn't like when you did the first bit, your like peck that was facing us was contracted and it kind of like crunched up a bit. And I didn't like that. Like hit it. Like relax your left peck there. See what I mean? I have to the whole. Let's relax the whole side. Relax your whole side and just like place that arm there and uh, flex the flex the other one. So core tight. I mean, I kind of like that better. Now flex it how you were. See, I like it better once you relax. I need to see. Yeah, like that. When it's down. Best of our look for sure. Oh, yeah. Like so Lean good. said, Ben, and I'm still like full. And yeah. Held <laughs> myself. And his weight came down. He's 223. 223. It's such a mental game in bodybuilding that like the, the team you have at your back is so important. Like everyone, everyone, everything plays its little role. Keeping you sane, getting you ready, all that. Like coach Ian obviously doing the diet, prepping me, helping me with training, telling me cardio, what to eat and all that. And then leading up to the show when we're in the hotel room, taking a look at me every few hours, telling tell the amount of sodium I should put on a meal, how much carbs I should eat, when to drink water, how much water to drink and all that. It's like, that part helps me, like that's a very specific, like what you expect. And then there's my girlfriend who's, I've been living with for a few weeks leading up to the prep. When I can't drive to the gym, she helps me drive there, like staying in with me, maybe she wants to go out, but I'm like, oh, I can't go with my friends here. And she's supporting me, like keeping me company, keeping me distracted from food, getting me into the gym when I'm like, being lazy as hell, get going to morning cardio with me. At first, obviously, any parents gonna be like, No, not even. Really? Chris, yeah, you showed up with a cake and flowers. Oh, yeah, I showed flowers. up with like wine and flowers for them. Yeah, and then my parents were like, Oh my god, I love this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> it just like started really good. So we're going to weigh in finally, and the athletes meeting. It's supposed to, I think we're the last one of the day, so. We're gonna get this done, and then we have a few hours finally after we weigh in, gonna get some food in it. Head back down there for the meet and greet, the meet the pros and get the night going. Yeah, bro, you wanna buy my mixtape? 15 bucks. A lot of the mental game now, especially, is like through social media and whatnot. Everyone, they like making their posts come out to the show, like, this is what I look like. Or like, it'll be a one week out and everyone's caption will be like, picture taken a week ago. Kind of like, this is how good I looked a week ago. Imagine how I look now, just make you think, get you nervous. And it's hard to say whether that really affects you, helps you not, but like, like every other sport, there's always that mental part of it. First thing after making weight, we got our maple caramel bagel with peanut butter and jelly. No, maple French toast. Maple French toast. Come on, man. Even better. <laughs> Just smell it. I can <laughs> Like this amount of carbs right here, like three times the amount of carbs I've been eating all day for like a couple weeks now, so. So my body's pretty happy right now, you can say. <laughs> Who do you want the first call out? Two more.